What is up everybody? My name is Danny. Welcome back to my channel. I don't know why I said it like that. Before we get into today's content, um, I want to make sure that you guys have done the following. Make sure to drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on all post notifications, and please, please, leave a comment. Because when I edit the videos and I'm all done and it goes off to YouTube, I like the, you know, in my spare time when I'm just relaxing in my computer chair or laying down in bed, you know, just watching TV. I like to read the comments. Legit, I like to read your guys' comments. Even on Twitter, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. I, I love doing it all. Seriously. It gives me something to do when I'm bored. And I love replying back to your guys' comments. If I put a heart next to your name, I have read your message. I might not always reply back to the message, because sometimes I might not have time to, or I'm busy, but I will read it, and when you see that heart next to your name, I read your message. So, thank you. Anyways, now since we got all the good stuff out of the way, now it comes to the exciting part. Today is my Q&A video. You guys been wanting this for, actually, ever since the last Q&A video, which was, what, a, a year ago? I don't think I've done a Q&A video in a year. Since a year, I think. Also, I'm wearing a basketball jersey because it is flipping hot here in Michigan. Flipping hot. Hot. Do you see my eyes? Hot. It's hot everywhere here in the United States. Hot. It's hot. I'm glad I don't live in New Jersey because it's probably burning hot over there too. Even California, Florida, Mexico, everywhere. Ugh. Like at nighttime, it, last night it was like two nights ago, it was 82 degrees at like 11 a.m. 11 a.m. No, 11 p.m., excuse me. 11 a.m. 11 p.m., and then at 12 a.m., it was, like, 76. It dropped pretty quick. But, like, it was still damn hot. And I live in the basement. Ugh. Anyways, today's Q&A video. Now, I asked you guys on Instagram. I almost said Twitter. I asked you guys on Instagram... Because I have a lot of followers on Instagram. Go follow me. Donnie Russo 6702 Go follow me. Um, my Instagram will be at the end of the video. I have links to my Twitter and Instagram at the end card of the video now. So, yeah. Check that out. I did... I did... Brand, uh, blah, 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 blah. I redid my end screen and my intro so hope you guys enjoy that the intros kind of ends all right but the outro is killer i like it a lot it's actually kind of really it's really cool it's really cool uh, hopefully i can you know make it even better in the future once i get my computer and stuff anyways the part that you guys been wanting me to do i have my phone here i have comments um all right let's see the first comment also I don't know how I'm going to do this because I'm wearing this white t-shirt and the text is probably going to go right here. So yeah, we're going to we're going to do this. We're probably, the text is probably going to be all in black. So all right, first comment says, "What are you What are your plans for the future?" Oof. My plans for the future, well, it depends um, if you're talking about my personal life or YouTube, but I can actually do something for you both ways. I'll, ex I'll tell you in both platforms. Well, not platforms, but in both ways. For the channel, um, I'm going to continue the channel as long as I can. Um, I'm not going to give up and delete the channel at all. 
anytime soon. I'm not. Um, even if I'm like going to college and I can't upload it, I'll still have it on the ch on YouTube. I'm not gonna delete my channel. I'm gonna keep it up and keep content rolling as long as I can. From my personal life, um, I really want to do a college, like an online college class instead of going to a campus because I think if I did YouTube and that, you know, it would just be hard because, I don't know. It would just be hard and plus if I have it here, I could just work on my exams and everything in my office on my stuff, on my computer and stuff. And then I can, you know, I'll still be here in my office so I can make YouTube videos too when I'm not, you know, doing anything. So, but, hope that answered your question. I'm gonna go a little bit more in depth into it. So, like, I plan on, you know, once I graduate high school, I do plan on trying to, you know, do a film editing class or, like, animation or something. Probably film and edit. There's this school down in Florida called um, Full Sail University. I was looking into that and I did DM them on Instagram and Twitter and they said anytime you want to, you know... Excuse me sir, a notification was just received. I apologize for that, that was my reason. That was my notifications. Anyways, I did talk to them and they said if you want a tour or, you know, any information, just contact us. And then I talked to my mother about it and she wasn't really happy for it. Meaning she didn't want her sweet baby boy to leave Michigan to go to Florida to college. So, yeah. But they have an online class I did not know about that I'm going to ask to see if I can take that. And if I can, then I might take that unless if I can find a film editing class here and around where I live. But, but yeah, I hope that answered your question. Um, I always got to unlock my phone now because I have a thing on it. Alright, uh, next question. Are you tall in real life? Uh, um, no, I'm not really tall. I'm not six foot tall like I want. Um, in real life, I'm between 5'4 five, and 5'5, five, five, around there. And, you know, being, you know, plump a little bit, you know, makes me shorter. But if I lost a lot of weight and looked skinnier, I would look taller. So... But, we'll say between 5'4 five, and 5'5, five, five, between there. So, I hope that answered your question. Next question, uh, what is your favorite food? My favorite food, now everybody knows what my favorite food. No, 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 it's not mac and cheese, leave me alone, that's not how I got fat. You meanies. I already know there's going to be one of my friends in my personal life that's going to comment down below and say, He loves mac and cheese. That's how he got so big. I will beat your ass now. Sorry. Don't know what came over me. I have lovely f friends. They love me a lot. They're not going to be mean to me. No. <coughs> I'm actually playing. They're, they're not that mean. They're actually pretty nice. They, they'll joke around with me, but... No, I'm just playing. <laughs> but no, my favorite food... At, it, I like mac and cheese, but my actual 100% favorite food, I have two. Chili dogs and steak. Ooh, if I see a tomahawk steak, mm, 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 you know I'm gonna dig in. Oof. That made me hungry thinking about that. <laughs> So I hope that answered. I do like mac and cheese, so I guess I have three favorite foods, but like my top notch if I want it is steak. But like I like fried chicken, you know. I like a lot of foods, but my favorite food would have to be chili dogs and steak. But if I had to pick one or the other, whew, that'd be a big one. Steak. I would have to go with steak. 
Next question. Ooh, this is a little long one. Oh, juice. Oh, wait, no, it's not. What are you... What a little... What are your plans for the future? Uh, we just answered that, so I'm gonna skip that. How old are you? I'm actually 18. I'm 18 years old. No, I don't know why I just said I'm actually. <laughs> no, I'm actually 34 years old, guys. No. I just turned 18 on June 7th. Um, so yeah, a lot of people say, man, you don't look 18 because, you know, the beard and mustache. You know, I have I had this since like 14, 15. Legit, I was growing the mustache at 13, and I didn't start growing the beard until, like, I was 16, 17. So, yeah. When I went out in public, people were like, Man, how old is your son? Oh, he's 15. You sure he's not 19, 20? No, he's 15. So, yeah. I'm 18 years old, so... <laughs> Uh, I hate that I have to unlock my phone every time. I should just have this written down. Alright, next question. Are you ever going to do SFM like you said you were anytime soon? Oh! I don't know why I read that so slow. Any oh yeah, SFM. I was talking about SFM um, in one of my videos that I really wanted to do. But... Here are some downfalls. Um. Oh, it was my washing machine. Um, SFM, I probably will not get into. It is a sad situ- It is a sad thing. Because I do like SFM videos. Like, I watch them a lot. And it would be something really cool for me to do. But it will just- it, it takes a long time. Like- you thought editing like movies were bad it's like editing a movie basically it basically you know like I have friends like fizzy SFM and a lot of other um, SFM youtubers that I know but like talking to them and you know them telling me Hey, this is like really hard, but like it's a hobby. I didn't get taught how to do. It. I just got my on my computer and did a little animation, and I got hundreds of views. And then I started doing more, and then I it was a hobby. It's something, and my hobby is not that. I might make some in the future, but um, for now, probably not. I'm gonna try to focus on you know vlogging, gaming, you know, live streaming, all of that, but, like, maybe for, like, holidays, I might make one for, like, Easter, maybe I might make a little short film, but, like, for right now, I probably won't, so, I do apologize, and also, that SFM video that I was talking to you guys about, it got, um, it didn't get restricted, but, um, someone tried to, um, what is it? Uh, damn, I forgot what it is. Um, but anyways, I got a message from YouTube saying, um, in this video, some content was stole, was, you know, used from another YouTuber, and they claimed, some person claimed some things in my video of that, of that video, and I want to be 100% clear, in that video, 90 Five percent of well, actually, one hundred percent everything in that video was mine. The only things that was not mine was a screenshot of a SFM YouTuber named Mangle the Fox SFM, or well, now her name is Bailey the Fox SFM, or no, it's Bailey Six. Oh, man, I forgot her name, but you know who I'm talking about. Um, she does videos with Rai Rai Ninety Nine and. She's a really good YouTuber, um, so go check her out. She's very cool. Um, I'll try to leave a link to her YouTube channel in the description down below, but it's funny how someone tried to, like, steal some of that from my video when they didn't, nothing in that video belonged to them. 
and then I tried getting in contact with YouTube, and then they said, um, it's not gonna go against you, it's just people being annoying, and I was like, you know what, whatever, so, I ignored it, so, whoever that was, uh, uh, screw you, um, good try, though, um, you ain't gonna get past these, oof, <laughs> what was this, ah uh, I don't know, I almost ended, I almost turned off my camera, oops, that was not a good idea, uh, this video is gonna be so long, anyways, uh, next question, are you going to college or trade school to do editing and film and animation? I just talked about that, so... Yes, I am going to go to a college, but probably going to do an online class. This question comes from Morgan Unders... Unders... No, I'm just going to say. Morgan's Life, and she says... What's your idea for blah, blah, blah. what's your idea for your 200 subscriber? Ooh, that's a good one, really. My 200 subscriber. Um, well, when I hit 200 subscribers, um, you know, I'm not really sure. I I'm sure I thought of some things like when I I did the ice bucket challenge. I mean, like I could do 200 ice cubes in a five in a few five gallon buckets and dump them on me and my boxers I'm sure everybody would love to see that <laughs> You'd probably get a lot of views honestly I could do that um my nose is edgy Oof. I could do a lot of stuff but I haven't actually decided yet so but when that time comes I probably I probably would do the 200 ice cubes probably even though I don't know I might do like you know them big bags of ice I might put I don't know that might be hard I don't know I might do like another ice bucket challenge but I might do like I ain't gonna do 200 gallons of ice water that'd be I would get frostbite bad probably 100% um I'll probably do another ice bucket challenge but with a twist instead of having clothes on I'll actually just have boxers on and then go outside of my driveway and do it instead of doing it in my shower because now I have a walk-in shower not a bathtub so yeah so but well I'm actually gonna come up with something hopefully another one any future collabs um I've been getting a lot of DMs from a lot of like people that I don't know personally or anything that want to collab with me and I just I don't know them like there's people out there that I know I would love to collab with someone that I like know and could trust because sometimes I do have a little bit of trust trust issues so I would love to collab with like like one of my best friends or something like stuff like that but maybe in the future I might um you know open my doors to some new people but until then probably not right now but I will do future collabs that is on my list all right let's see the another one do you have a girlfriend <laughs> obviously <laughs> actually no I actually do not have a girlfriend um I'm actually single um I did have a girlfriend but some things it was just, like, I wouldn't say nothing worked out. It did work out. Like, I was happy. But, like, there was just some things. And then I just, I don't want to get into detail with it. But it just, we wanted to be, like, friends. And then I decided to just be friends with her. But we were still on good terms now. But, um, like, in the past, like, I've been dating people. I just have like really trust issues like I can I trust a lot but like I don't trust that many people and like meaning like if you're dating someone you should trust them but like sometimes I don't but like I don't want to get into a relationship and I'm not saying my last relationship was what I'm gonna say was you know a waste of my time it wasn't I was really happy um 
but like if I get in another relationship I don't want to get into another relationship and just and waste my time into this in a relationship you know what I mean like I'm gonna tell you guys now like if I ever get into a relationship you know you know me I'm a good person I have a good heart like I'm not like 99% of the men out there that just wanna you know and this might seem you know sort of a lot of women I guess ladies are gonna be like oh well I like that a man or I'm I'm I don't like that a man but it's okay sometimes I'm not the type of man and I've never done this in my entire life I'm the type of man that will stay with you will protect you will love you I will not cheat on you I will tell you everything even if something happened I'll tell you the truth I won't lie to your face I will never lie to you at all like even if it's embarrassing and it's something that you will probably break up with me for I will still tell you because honesty is the best policy and it's better to tell them the truth than lie and have them find out either by taking your phone away and looking and saying why do you got this naked lady on your phone or something like that you know what I'm saying but like I'm I am like a good I have a good heart and honestly all my relationships that I have been with you can go to them and if I talk to them today they will say man I miss being with you like it was a good time like I you treated me well every morning you would text me and say good morning how was your day with a lovely smiley face and a heart like I'm like they would miss that happening like I'm not like every other guy that wants to you know go cheat on you or you know you know do all this getting your pants and stuff like I'm not like that sure there would be a time where like a lot of guys do that but like me I'm the type of guy that if you want to do something we can do it but like let's talk and then you know let's move take baby steps you know what I'm saying like I in a relationship I want to get to know you first for like a little while and then we can take the next step and you know be a relationship and then take another step and if we're still together and we want to move on with our life and move forward together as a couple we you know can move forward that's how I work I don't know if other people do the same thing but like yeah but did I answer your question no I am single and ready to mingle with other Pringles uh, <laughs> if you know that joke if you know where that came from that joke please let me know in the comments uh, people are walking. Anyways, next this video is gonna be really long. I apologize. All right, next vid. Uh, next comment. Next question, I should say. What? What's your favorite video game? My favorite video game. Oof. Now this is a tricky one. There's a lot of video games I like. My favorite video game, I like Sonic. Like, everybody knows I'm a diehard Sonic fan. Um, gotta go fast! <laughs> like, people, like, I went to go see the new Sonic movie. It was a bomb. It was a bomb. Like, it was great. Like, I love it. I didn't get to see the ending, so I had to look up on YouTube the ending. Because once the credits come, I leave. So... The good parts come at the credits, and the credits, I guess, at the end. If anybody hasn't watched it, um, skip ahead a teeny bit, because I'm going to spoil the ending. Um, I guess, really, at the end, um, the Tails comes out of a portal and tries to find Sonic. So, there's another movie coming out. So, yeah. Anyways, back to this, but my favorite video game, haha, -ha, I have my phone on silent, haha, -ha, can't. Someone tried texting me. Um, my favorite video game would probably be Minecraft, Sonic, and Grand Theft Auto. 
but like there's a lot of games that I like. I really don't have just like a favorite favorite game that I love playing 24/7, but I I have a few. So, but if I had to pick one, it'd probably be Sonic. But I like Minecraft and Grand Theft Auto, but I really don't have a favorite video game. I I like them all. So, but if I had to pick one, it would probably be Sonic. Alrighty. I also am reading them off of my phone, so yeah. Next question. Who's your favorite YouTuber? Oof. Well, I mean, there's actually a few. I don't have just one favorite YouTuber, but like, I have a few. Like, you know, there's there's PewDiePie that I that I grew up watching. My the first ever YouTuber that I started watching was actually Markiplier. I never watched YouTube. It was in 2014 when I started watching YouTube. And at school, I remember my friend, like, doing... Like, my friend was really in love with this game called Five Nights at Freddy's. And at the time, I didn't know what it was. And actually, he was the one that made me love Five Nights at Freddy's to this day. Like, for real. If he wasn't in my life... God, my nose is itchy. I feel like I have, like, a, a bug flew up my nose. <laughs> it's part of my mustache. <laughs> but anyways, if he was not in my life, to this day, I probably wouldn't know what Five Nights at Freddy's was. Unless if I looked it up and just did that, but I'm sure. But he would do these, like, motions on the playground. He would go up to us and go, Meh! like, he would scare us, but, like, the animatronics would, I guess. And I was like, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> get, get away from me. What are you doing? <laughs> but I looked it up. He's like, Marco Player does this. He's like, oh my god, what the hell? Ah! And I was like, ah! And I was like, okay, who's this Marco Player kid? Or well, who is Marco Player? So I went home that day, got on my tablet and watched Mark Player, and he just and the first video that I saw, he came out with the Five Nights at Freddy's game. Um, first episode video that he did. It's like, hello everybody, my name is Mark Player. Welcome to a game called Five Nights at Freddy's. I saw Yami Mash play this and blah blah blah. Like, he went on, and I actually, Mark Player was my first YouTuber that I actually watched. To this day, I still watch Mark Player, but not often. And then I started growing up to watch PewDiePie. And then I started, you know, getting in you know, involved with, you know, everything, and then sooner or later, you know, I was watching Markiplier, PewDiePie, DLive, end to end you know, Minx, all of them guys, Jacksepticeye, you know, Lance210, Logan Paul, Jake Paul, um, the Venturian, you know, a lot of YouTubers that I watch. There is a lot of them. Um, there is a lot, but if I had to pick one favorite YouTuber that I actually love and enjoy watching his content to this day, it would probably be, it would be, I love, it's kind of hard because I watch a lot of them, but like, I like D-Live. D-Live's really cool. I love his Let's Plays and his games. His dog, Louie. Oh my god, just adorable. Just adorable. So if I had to pick my favorite YouTuber, it'd be... It'd be D-Life, probably. And then it would be a Markiplier, and then... But, like, I grew up watching them all, so I mean... But D-Life, I like watching D-Life. Because, you know... He's a good guy, and hopefully one day I could meet him. That'd be really cool. So, yeah, but I like PewDiePie as well. PewDiePie, I will never stop loving PewDiePie. Never. PewDiePie, I grew up watching him when I was little. And I started watching him back in when he just started, you know, making YouTube videos. Like, I started watching him. In 2000, well, he made his YouTube channel in 2010, and I started watching him around 2014, between 14 and 15. 
So, it was a couple years after he made it. Um, the first ever videos that I watched him play is the, um, Happy Wheels videos and a lot of stuff like that, so. Yeah, I also apologize if when I read a question and I go on for like 10 years of answering that question, apologize. But that's why you guys are here, to stick through the whole entire video. Alrighty, so yes, DLive is my favorite YouTuber. I will leave a link to his YouTube channel down in the description down below if you guys want to check him out. He's really cool. I recommend you guys go check him out. He's really cool. Next question. Favorite song. Oof. I have a lot of favorite songs. But my favorite song, like, my favorite music to listen to is rock. I love rock. Like, hands down, rock and roll, and then, like, heavy rock is pretty cool. Like, I like Rob Zombie. There's a few songs that I like about Rob Zombie, but, like, ZZ Top and ACDC and Black Savage and, uh, well, some other ones. And Guns N' Roses, you know, a lot of good bands that was not, was not from my time. They were all from my dad's time. I grew up listening to rock and roll with my dad because every time when my dad would I drive with my dad, he would, you know, put on rock and roll, and we would listen to some ACDC and Pink Floyd and you know, a lot of you know the Eagles and you know I could go on. But my favorite band would probably be between ACDC, Black Sabbath, Guns N' Roses, and. ZZ Top. There are a lot of good songs. But I like ZZ Top. That was my first... And then a couple... A year ago, my dad took me to... I think it was either 20... Yeah, it was last year. My dad took me to my first concert, which was a ZZ Top concert. And I blew my head off. I'm telling you straight. Blew it off. I was going... It was great. I I would love to go to more concerts in the future. ZZ Top was a band from my mom's time back in the 70s, and they're still alive to this day. So that's a band from before I was even born that I get to actually see live and play. So, yeah. How are you doing? From... Swiffer sixty Swiffer sixty says, "How are you doing? I am doing very well. Um, well, I'm doing better now. Um, I think I made a video about letting you guys know that. Um, I don't think I did, but if you guys haven't already known, um, about a week ago from yesterday, a week ago from yesterday." Um, I got bad news from my grandmother saying my uncle passed away. It was unexpected, and it just, it was heartbreaking. It was really heartbreaking. Thirty-three minutes long. Jesus, this is crazy. It was really heartbreaking, and I felt really upset, but I'm doing better now. Um having my head up and I'm actually tomorrow um Saturday I'm going on vacation I'm going up to um up north somewhere I don't know I think it's like I don't know between like Caseville or something I don't know where I'm going but I'm gonna go to a hotel and go to a beach and you know just have a lot of fun and then next year I'm going on a cruise that I will vlog so yeah but how I'm doing right now, I'm doing actually really happy. I'm really happy, actually. Doing really good. So th thank you for that question. Thank you for that. Really do appreciate that. And I believe that was all the questions. I believe it was. Yup, that's all for today. So if you guys have any more questions that you want me to answer, please leave them down below. Comment them down below. 
and let me know what you guys want me to do in us in another Q and A video. I'll probably do one every once in a while. Um, but yeah, um, I do apologize not getting a video up yesterday. So this video is for like yesterday, but I don't know. But anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. I do appreciate it. Um, thank you for the love and support. Um, almost to 100, I almost said 70, almost to 170 subscribers, let's beat it, let's get to 200 subscribers guys, um, my goal for this channel is to get to 500 subscribers, but we're really close, so, thank you all so much for, you know, watching the video, subscribing, and doing all that you can, I don't know why I'm sitting sideways in my chair, don't know. How long was that like that? Hopefully it wasn't like that for the whole entire video, but I'm going to go ahead and edit this almost 10 year long video. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Share the video around, subscribe, tell your friends and family about my channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye guys and love you all and stay safe and stay healthy.